Hello my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and let's get started with your love reading. Love reading for Scorpio, what are the messages for Scorpio? What are the love messages for Scorpio? Love messages for Scorpio. What are the messages that will come out for Scorpio? General reading. It's like a buffet table. Take what's yours and leave the rest. Scorpio, you are mad about something. Ooh, that is huffing and puffing and blowing the house down. Eight of Cups. That is, look at that. That is somebody who's really tired. You feel really exhausted, Scorpio. Somebody, you feel like somebody has really wasted your time. It is crossed by the lover's card. This is Gemini energy and the Scorpio, this is um, Pisces and, and uh, Gemini. So with the Gemini energy, we have this beautiful, beautiful lover's card protected by a guardian angel. Scorpio, you may not know that, but this relationship is divinely protected. Let's see what happens right now. It looks like you haven't heard from somebody. It looks like you've been waiting and waiting and they just aren't showing up, Scorpio. Nine of Swords, you don't want to hear it anymore. You've really had it. You know, you've just had it. You feel as though while you're holding this person in high regard, you're holding these two cups of love, you have your eyes closed, you're, try you're really thinking a lot about the fact that you know, that this person does not see the value of the relationship because they're over here juggling these three cups. So, you know, the Two of Swords says that you're not really ready to make a full-blown decision about what you think. The Nine of Swords says that this is keeping you awake at night, but the situation right now is that you have walked away from someone and it's going to be up to them to determine what they want in this connection with you. The Six of Wands shows that, you know, in the past you really thought you had the chance for a victory in love. It's Leo energy. Um, it really says that you wanted to have a relationship in which you really adored each other so much that you'd introduce one another to your friends, that it would really be out front and center. Seven of Swords, you feel as though someone lied to you. You feel as though the best they can do is lie, but you're being strategic right now. What I'm seeing is that you've left the situation. You know, you're, it looks like you're waiting also for somebody to really come forward. We have the Emperor card here. That is Aries energy, Scorpio. Seven of Swords energy is Aquarius. So you're trying to stay enlightened. You're, you're also trying to stay very strategic. The Emperor card also is telling me that you are bossing up in your life. You know, you may be dealing with an emperor, you may be dealing with a Leo, but you know, the way you are viewing is this, is it, you want someone who can really come to the table. If they can't come to the table, you're not so interested. We will clarify everything, of course, my friends, my friends. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Yeah, at this point in time, the way you view this person is as a sort of awkward, almost like teenage energy, a teapot on their head, the fishies trying to swim into the cup. You feel as though they're incompetent, and yet you know they're not. This is a person who could do the right thing by this relationship if they choose chose to do so or if they choose to do so. So right now, what I see happening, though, is by you walking away, by you making it really clear that you're not going to continue, you're not going to pursue them, them, you're probably, I would even say for some of you, you will block them or you have blocked them for a couple of days. It really hurts you. I mean, there is no reason for this. This person is coming up also with very slow moving energy. This person, your person is coming up as I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't rush me. I'm coming. The eight of pentacles. Both of you want to work on the relationship. It does show that your worst fear is that this person won't. The hanged man says that you are absolutely not going to lift a finger, that if this person wants you, they're going to have to make all the moves. But at this point in time, you have stopped. You have, you know, stop in the name of love for yourself. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are on this reading for you, Scorpio. What do we need to know about the Eight of Cups? 
what do we need to know about what prompted you to walk away from a situation in which you really felt you have your soulmate or your lover and it is divinely protected okay okay so okay good so we have, this is clarified, the Knight of Pentacles means that, you know, you feel as though this person is walking, really walking so slowly and so deliberately that you're just going to go do your thing. What this says is that the Eight of Cups, you're just going to go take care of yourself. This is a Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So what we see is that you're going to absolutely imitate their behavior. That, you know, if they're not really going to give you much, if they're going to, you know, sort of go silent at times, if they, if you, if they are going to ignore you, you're just going to say, well, I was really busy, you know, sorry I didn't get back with you, but you're not going to do anything for the per current time. You know, you're just tired of it. You feel as though this is very much a strategy uh, to be avoidant in love. The Knight of Swords says that you have a lot of things to say to this person. When we get this energy, you know, you do feel as though this person is a soulmate, but you know, at the end of the day, you'll cut them out. The Knight of Swords has a lot to say, but what I'm getting here is that you're not likely to say it. You're walking away instead. The Hermit card again says that, you know, this person may have ghosted you or you feel as though they've ghosted you. I would say that that's not exactly accurate, but you feel ignored. At the very best in this situation, you feel ignored and toyed with. You feel as though this person juggles people. You know, it's it's unmistakable. You feel as though they go silent on you. They're very wishy-washy. They come and go. The Six of Wands, what is this victory card about in the past? What is this victory card about in the past for Scorpio? The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you want a victory in love, and you truly want someone. You want to invest. When we look at this card, we're looking at this person who's a gardener, you know, who's looking at the coins, who's assessing what needs to happen. Do I need to water the plants? Do I need to feed the plants? Do I need to, you know, what do I need to make the garden grow? And that's the victory that you thought you had in the past. So it does show that, you know, it does look like you became lovers. You felt as though there was a chance for this to move forward. You just felt the person was very slow moving. But now the energy that I have is the Two of Swords. So your attitude is you're not going to invest in anyone who does not invest in you. The energy that's clarifying the Seven of Swords is a Five of Cups. Here we have somebody drunk at the bar who's knocked over the cups. That uh, Five of Cups energy is also here. So it matches this card. That for all basic purposes, you know, if somebody's drunk on the bar, they're not really, they're not there for you. You know, you feel as though, like, wow, now I have another mess to clean up. I don't really want to do this. If this person can't handle love or their drinks or if they can't handle life, I am not interested. Now, I just don't think you're going to have a confrontation with this person. To me, this is your attitude of, you know, 50 ways to leave my lover, which is slip out the back, Jack, make a new plan, Stan. You know, a lot of you may not be familiar with that song. It's quite bouncy. It's meant to be upbeat, but you know, it really speaks to the fact that you're not having it, truly not having it. That if this person can't meet you halfway, if they really just can't handle the emotions, if they, you know, juggle you with other people, if they disappear on you and don't talk to you and don't tell you what's going on, if they're not asking you out, you are just, you're, you're out of there. So, so many cards of you having left. Okay. The King of Swords is clarifying the Emperor card. So the Emperor card is used to being the boss. The Emperor card is that energy of the rules, the king of the kings, I'm the boss of everybody, you know, I run society. You know, it's sort of like a very big CEO energy. It's uh, very strategic also. The Emperor is always very strategic. And the Mars energy under the Emperor says that, you know, it's like, Father knows best. 
Well, you know what? You really feel the energy of Scorpio knows best. If you can cut me out, I will cut you out. I've studied the situation is what you are feeling, Scorpio. And at the end of the day, this emperor, you know, seems like very childish to you. You feel very much that they're just being flaky, intentionally so, that they're, you know, really not coming into this relationship with their best. The Wheel of Fortune, nice. First break in the reading, Scorpio, falls in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune says that timing is changing. What else do we need to know about this? What else do we need to know about this? The world card. Your person thinks the world of you, Scorpio. They think that you're quite good looking, beautiful, attractive. They see you as being um, the best of the best. You know, they see you as being, they think the world of you. They feel as though you don't need them. Let's see what else. Why is this coming into play now, Spirit? Why is it coming into play? The Nine of Pentacles, again, you're very, very successful without them. So your person is having some insecurity here. They think if they can't be quote unquote big man or big woman on campus, the popular kid, the one who gets to be in charge, if they can't be the authority figure in the relationship, they're having a hard time with that. You know, they're trying to see how they feel about that. So there is some indication here that this person Although they're coming in like a knight, very slowly, they really think that they should be, you know, the director. The Three of Wands says that your person sees you as the best option, but the Three of Wands is a good card. It really means that they see you as a perfect mate. They see you as the one. They see you that they see you in that way. So why are they behaving this way, Spirit? Why are they behaving this way, Four of Swords? This person has a lot of fear. They're in a state of depression. They're in a state of anxiety. But that is the wounded warrior. That means somebody hasn't feel healed from a past love. What else is going on? The Devil card, sure. There we go, toxic energy. So the fact that they're trying to come in with old wounds that they haven't really healed... Uh, they're really bringing drama with them, Five of Wands energy. That's chaos, conflict. Queen of Swords says that this person is treating the relationship in a very cold manner, and you feel as though you're being judged all the time. That's Libra energy. You really do feel as though you're being judged. Now, you know, this person's very shrewd. They're very smart. Uh, they are looking for their emp empress. They do see you as the empress, and that's Taurus energy. So what is this person actually going to do here? What is this person going to do? What is this person going to do? Eight of Coins. Okay, they're going to come back into the picture. We get the Eight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to manifest you. They have been flaky when they come back. It looks like they're still flaky, but you're willing to listen to them. I feel as, you know, what they're doing is they are going to communicate with you with the sword's energy that they're struggling, you know, that they want to work on the relationship, that they do understand, they have clarity about themselves. The Five of Wands is still, you know, a card of conflict, meaning they're conflicted within themselves. They have a tendency to be a little bit of a rabble rouser, you know, meaning that sometimes they just say stuff to get a rise out of you. The Devil Energy says that they have control issues that unless they feel that they're in control they feel very uh fearful of getting hurt the empress card though man you are the empress look at that gorgeous person they see you as the just the ultimate person uh the ultimate energy to have a relationship with that's beautiful the four of cups says that they still don't know what they're doing you know, that's that card of like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what to do. So let's clarify the Four of Cups for you in this situation. The Page of Pentacles. Okay. So this person really is sort of, I don't want to say dumbing down. And yet that's what comes to mind. It's like, almost like they're going to, they're going to use their old wounds as an excuse to try to tell you that, you know, they're going to, that they they just have to move slowly. I can't move fast. 
I have to heal myself. The Nine of Cups says, though, that your wish comes true, that this person is telling the truth, that they are being honest, that as much as you don't like what they think they need, it is true. But the Nine of Cups says your wish comes true. So let's see what wish will be granted here. What's the wish it will be granted here? It's a reading within a reading, right? The King of Wands, perfect, okay. So you do have someone that's proud and fiery and highly desirable and gets a lot of attention from other people, somebody who's very successful. They may be famous, they may be close to famous. But what I'm getting here is they come into, oh, beautiful, man, quote unquote, manning up, so to speak, taking the lead, really coming forward. And I really like this energy. You know, it really speaks very strongly to the fact that you're going to have a reunion. This person wants you in their life. I really like the fact that you're being strategic, you know, investing in yourself. Uh, is very important and if someone's not willing to invest the same amount in a relationship you know for you there's no point in discussing it because that in and of itself says something that in and of itself is a communication okay the page of swords says that it does show that you pay attention to them you know, on social media, you pay attention to what they're doing. You may have some sort of work um, situation with this person. And what I mean is you may share an industry. Uh, there's some sort of understanding about one another's jobs, one another, the way you earn money. There's a real sort of almost a sense of camaraderie there and respect. But this person, you know, the good news that's hidden here is they will work on things, but you know, it does show that you're you're tracking them. They're tracking you. They're paying attention to you. They're just not admitting it. Ace of Cups, the hidden energy. Hidden energy is the Ace of Cups. It's what you fear and want the most. The outcome card is the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Why is the hanged man here? Why is the hanged man here for beautiful Scorpios? Why is the hanged energy here? The sun card, ooh, look at that. Why would anybody want to, why would anybody want to um, delay that, right? So it does look as you have a breakthrough. The reason you have a breakthrough in this relationship, the reason is because you are the empress. You know, at the end of the day, <clears throat> They have no better person. The world card means that you're the, quote unquote, the highest level of person in terms of what you bring to the table that they've ever encountered in relationship. They value you. They think the world of you quite literally. They do see you as the empress. And there will be a new start in love here. Um, throwing caution to the winds. This is a new passionate beginning. And the beautiful reason for this is the sun card. It's the happiest card in the deck. It's about joyfulness. Again, this person may have a strong Leo bent. They may have uh, Virgo energy in their chart. Let's look and see what the Oracle cards have to say for you, Scorpio, before we close this out. If you do like the reading, you do like the content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. YouTube needs to know that for the algorithm for me to be able to expand the channel. And I thank you so much. Patience, Scorpio, have patience. You know, you are manifesting what you want, but I like the fact that you are not you're not just wearing your heart on your sleeve. You are looking out for yourself in a very reasonable and measured way. Your person is holding a coin for you. They do hold you in high regard. The issues that are making them feel like they're stalling out are very personal. Look at this. Here we go. Look at this. A man holding coins. This is a person who sees you having great value. So your patience is called upon a woman holding a heart. You know, this. these are energies that the two of you share. You both have the ability to take care of yourself. You both have been very, you've done well for yourself in life in that you don't need anybody else. You're both patient people, but you both have this very soft, ooey gooey, you know, sort of in, inside energy that is, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You're both very sentimental. You both talk very freely. 
with other people about loving them. So this would be like, oh, look at what I did today, and this is what I did for my niece or my nephew or, you know, my child. But I really, this is beautiful energy. Let's look and see what Colette Baron Reed has with uh, Wisdom of the Oracle. And um, I really like this. I just want to thank my subscribers for your for all of your support. The fates. Look at that. Here we go. We have the fates. Okay. The fates are telling you that. Here we go. This is the energy of the fates for you. The fates are saying that you're meant to be together. Lover's card with a guardian angel. Scorpio, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. It's been a joy speaking with you today. Bye-bye.